Sports on Live. Gene Bataglia along with John DeTulio, our first men's basketball broadcast of the year. As there's the shot by Fenderbosch for three. Seven. Fenderbosch going to get another look here. And hits it. John, that's what the tag was made. Well, he, Barry, two three-pointers had a good look. He's going to get shots. And so far, he's buried his last two three-point attempts. The junior from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And this will go over to RIT when we come back with 15-12 remaining here. In the first, the Tigers will be early 10-9 lead here on RIT Sports Online. They're tr RIT's trying to get a guy at the foul line in so far, St. Lawrence done a good job of taking that pass away. So the dribble penetration is kind of kind of going to set some other things up for the Tigers. Well, that sets up a foul on Tim Gua, and that's the one player the Saints can ill afford to get in foul trouble. So not even seven minutes into this game, Tim Gua picks up his second. It's a big leading scorer, leading rebounder. Going to take it. Takes that one, does not fall. Offensive board, Benderbosch with the little baby on 21-19. Scott's going to get looks like that, passed it up, and that time, I think Benderbosch had a nice, he's had a nice first half. Two eight points. Two minutes remaining here in the first. Down low, and wouldn't count it anyway. And the Tigers, an impressive first half. They lead by six. After a slow start, I thought offensively a lot more rhythm, got some really good looks, and I think defensively they turned it up a notch as the first half wore on. Good first half for Bob McVay's team. Well, things we have planned at the half. We'll have highlights. We'll also kind of go over the women's game as well and a conversation with head coach Bob McVay. We're at the half score. And just as we cut away, somebody burying the three. Jeep tackling along with John DeTulio. And Johnny, good start here for the Tigers tonight. It really was Kurt Benderbosch helping out on the offensive side. I thought Benderbosch early, he had eight points in the first half, hit a couple of open three-pointers, which I thought then, and he's, there's one on top of the key, then started to open things up in the lane, which RIT wants to do offensively. So I thought the early shooting by Benderbosch made St. Lawrence aware of him, which then I thought in turn opened some other things up. And here you get the put back by Fenderbosch, and they're able to uh, two of his eight points. So I thought. Travis left side. And Fenderbosch. Nice feet down low. Hitting Paul, but he had his shot rejected, and they're going to get the foul. That'll be on race. They were so concerned of stopping that pass right to the charity strike. That's where Travis was, and Calm. Grease Athena product working down low. Able to get behind the uh, defense there. Look at that. So feeling it. Big second half for the senior out of Paris. First lead since 9 7. This is a 9 0 St. Lawrence run. Vanderbosch trying to work it in down low. Good idea. And he's able to draw the foul. He drew the mismatch there. As he backed down Al Jones and drew the foul. So Fenderbosch, who kind of jump-started things in the first half for RIT now. And there you go. He knew he had a mismatch here with Jones. And he draws contact. Now, the RIT Tigers, one thing you can say about them, Johnny, when RIT Sports Zone is on here, it's going to be a close game. And the Tigers, actually, they seem to play better when they are on television. They like it. Five and one in the last three years. Had the... Half-court buzzer beater against Fisher last year. One-point win against Naz. A back-and-forth game against Stevens last year. They don't, they don't shy away from the big stage. It's going parallel. Want to keep them that way. So that's the third team foul on the Saints. Fenderbox for three. Hits it. His third tray of the evening. And the Tigers going by four. So here's Sweeney in to run the point. And give it back to Fenderbosch with the left hand. Trying to dish it to low, found Oh, what a nice move. That was a great move again. Fenderbosch keeping his head up. And there you saw Isaac go. But the Tigers getting there, getting good looks. And I, I think the story of the second half has been Fenderbosch. Getting a couple of big shots. Great pass to Isaac, last trip down. 
Fenderbosch with the left hand, spinning in the lane, getting a good look. Puts it up and in, changing hands, John. That's a big time move. He's feeling it tonight. He's got 15 to lead the Tigers, and the Tigers match their biggest lead. Chris Downs, head coach of St. Lawrence, will call a timeout. With 13.43, we will keep it right here. Might as well take another look here. Look at Fenderbosch spinning and into the lane, and then I think he was maybe surprised that the shot wasn't challenged by Brandon Rivera. Yeah, no, no help, Johnny, but they made the final last year. Pretty good shot. You could be talking national championship here. This, this is the year they were so close last year, of course. This could be the year. Another great team. But saw the shot clock was winding down and created a pass. Well, now they're calling, they're calling a charge. My fault. Thought they'd call the block. Thought so, too. One of those that could have gone either way. Charlo checking back into the game for the Saints here, John. That's key. I think he has to. If they, if they were up seven, maybe get a few more minutes on the bench. So Rivera checking in for Charlo here. And now here comes the pressure. Double teamed in the backboard. Fenderbosch able to break it. Dribbling right out of it. The Tigers on the break. They should get down low. And the hard foul as Heisig will be at the line to shoot two. Again, Fenderbosch bails him out, but this is the fault of Terry Parham. They had him they had him pinned in over there. He allowed them to go right up the sideline. What a great pass. He's feeling it tonight. Look at this. Look at him. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> behind the back. Man, I tell you. Fenderbosch. What a game he's played tonight. Dang. Now for the pressure once again. Heisen, there's a break. Up oh, all, nice feed. Fenderbosch up and in. The quarterback hitting a receiver on the post. Boy, that was a good, there wasn't much of a window there. And Fenderbosch with a nice catch. And then we uses the left hand, uses the glass as his friend. A little shield. T, imagine the possibility. All right, 69-58, the RIT Tigers getting their first Liberty League win in men's basketball play. And we're happy to be joined here in the postgame show with head coach Bob McBean. Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Let's start with uh, Kurt Fenderbosch uh, stepping up tonight for your Tigers. Well, he's, um, he's certainly a transfer coming in, and he he's still getting used to um, the system and, and feeling comfortable. And we see it every day in practice, and, and, and now tonight um, he's had a couple pretty good games, but um, this was a, a great game that we needed, especially we knew we were going to see probably 90% zone. And um, uh, he's working on his defense, um, and uh, he did a very good job with that as well. Too, so, um, and he's he's a very good three-point shooter. Bob, how about your defense? You forced, you know, in the first half, you forced 11 turnovers. You got 14 points off those turnovers. How about defensively tonight, you guys, with a, with, with a really good effort? For, for the most part, all.